As we always do before every makeover on my channel, let us reminisce on the before of my primary bedroom. As you guys know, we gutted this house back to the studs because it had been smoked in, and when we did that, we decided to make the primary bedroom a little bit bigger, and then we turned the secondary bedroom on the other side into a walk-in closet and an ensuite bathroom. This makeover happened over the course of three years, so please keep that in mind when you're watching makeover videos on YouTube. They don't happen overnight, and if they do, well, you didn't watch it here. I'm a huge fan of white spaces decorated with color, but I knew these walls needed something to spice them up, so I decided on these picture frame molding. I feel like it really added some character to an otherwise quite blank space. So this used to be a front hallway console table, but we like how narrow it is here so it won't like take up that much space and thinking maybe like some baskets to like fill under here this isn't the dream thing we wanted here we kind of wanted a dresser but we still haven't found something that we absolutely love for this space so I think we can make this work. I'm extremely grateful to be partnering with Article once again on another space in my home. These pieces are truly the highlight of this makeover. So these are the Kandra King bed and nightstands in oak. They feature this beautifully woven fisheye cane, which you guys can see throughout my home. And the nightstands have side mounted push to close drawers. This is quite literally my dream bedroom setup. And also, can I just tell you the fact that Article was in and out of my house in under 20 minutes, took all of the cardboard with them, truly an unmatched service they provide. The time has come, y'all. Once upon a time, I had a beautiful queen size mattress. And then when we bought our first house, we wanted a king size. So we essentially downgraded to a king size mattress that my mom had and it has just paid its dues. It's it's time to retire. So I'm really excited because Article partnered with Lisa. So you can now get your Article bed and your mattress all in the same order. I've heard great things about this mattress. It has a 10 year warranty and also a 100 night sleep trial, which I think is really, really important. It also has memory foam. It's supposed to help with relieving back, hip and shoulder pressure. Your girl could use that. I feel like with Leroy and Hotch's back legs not working as well as they used to, having to like hoist that harness is really doing some work on my shoulder and also my back. Let's unbox it. Turn this box on its side and remove your rolled mattress. When the company labels the top or bottom, chef's kiss. So you can order your bed frame and your mattress all in one go. Well, surprise, you can also order your sheets. This is Article's Alto Ivory Linen Sheet Set. This bedding is quite literally the softest thing ever. And it's, I mean, just linen sheets in general. They're so cooling. I'm thrilled to have these on our bed. Good morning, friends. It is time to do what I like to call the finishing touches. Artwork, bedding, curtains, all of that kind of stuff. I feel like this is always the stuff that really brings the room together. So the first thing I wanna start with is the curtains. I moved up the curtain rod. I just feel like if we're gonna do some colorful curtains, we want it to look as grand as possible. And then you'll notice that I have the curtain rod going pretty far past the window. And that's because I want the curtains to sit, like, you know, they're blackout curtains. So when it, this is open, I want all this light coming in. So I want the curtains to sit right here. I don't want them blocking that light at all. So that's why that looks a little silly. The job itself, like putting up curtain rods is not that hard, but getting the exact right space and getting everything level, I find it to be, the most time consuming thing. Amazing. I also had to hem these curtains because they were like extraordinarily long. So here are the curtains. I think that this adds a lot of much needed color to this room and it kind of makes it feel a little more elegant as well. So I'm very happy with it. I think it's good. 
For this corner of the bedroom, I always have this dog bed in that corner. Miles loves to sleep here at night. So we're gonna leave that. Now, I have a mirror and I kind of love having it here because there's just such beautiful light. So, oh my God, this is the heaviest mirror on the planet. You will let me take you on a magic carpet ride? A magic carpet? No. Not a chance. Not a chance, Mom. Do I sort of hate how close the curtains are to the mirror? Yes. We're done over there for now. The next place we have to do is this wall. Obviously, it's a huge blank wall. We need to do something with it. If you um, know anything about me, you know usually my makeovers, I tend to struggle a lot with like artwork and prints. I'm a firm believer that I don't want something up on my wall unless it's something that like, I'm a hardcore ride or die for. I do have some prints from my last house. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about these prints, but they're huge, okay? Like they would be the perfect size for this wall. And they have that like desert modern vibe that I'm obviously going for. So it's two prints and they are like the same photograph. Basically like when they go together, they create like one big landscape, you know? It's also black and white, which is not my go-to, but this is like free essentially, and I wouldn't have to spend any money, and we love that. I also thought about getting those little like lights that you put above a picture frame, but there's no way that I'm going to turn on a battery operated light. <laughs> one up, one to go. Always put your screw all the way in the drywall anchor so the anchor opens up and then pull it back out to the height that you want it from the wall. Okay, these look really cute. I do think it would make more sense if they were different pictures, like we keep the cactus one, we do like a mountain one or something. Um, I don't even mind the black and white. So because we have so many dogs, we need another dog bed. So I'm gonna put this raised bed here under the photos. Oaks really likes to sleep beside us, so. This was an Urban Outfitters day bed that we cut down to sized for a dog. <laughs> and this is a dog bed. And on it we have like a waterproof fitted sheet. This is waterproof. And then just a regular, these are just crib sheets. I wanna get something that's gonna go with the room better, like some sort of terracotta one. But for now, that'll do trying to find a comforter for the bed. I just want white. You guys are gonna see how I'm gonna bring the color together into it, but I just want white. I feel like this would be like the good place to find something. Full queen. See, that's gonna be my issue, is like finding a king size. But we've got like quite a bit of selection here. Uh, what size are you? King, this one's a king. What's this one? King. This one's like um, textured. What do we think? I'm thinking this is nicer. This is pretty nice too though. This one's more of like a creamy. This one is like white. My sheets from Article are more of this like creamy so I feel like going that route is a good thing. Okay, I think I have the final touches for the room. So we got this comforter. The reason being we got a comforter instead of a duvet is because like we're just kind of sick of putting a duvet cover on. Also have this throw for the end of the bed. And then for the dog bed, I got this like really beautiful crib sheet. It's like a fitted sheet. I think this is gonna look really good as well. I have a plant to put in here. Let's see if we can make this look cute. Now we have to put this on the dog bed. Let me take you back in time to before there was a patio door in this bedroom and a walk-in closet and let me show you where we ended up. 
I love this desert modern bedroom makeover. It took me forever, but I feel so happy in this space. It's so warm and serene. It makes me feel like I'm in the desert. I love it so much. I hope that there was some inspiration throughout this makeover for you guys. Anything I could link, I've linked in the down bar. And if I can't link it, I will still let you know where it's from. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I am so happy to say I am one bedroom closer to finishing my house. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.